Good morning, folks. It's catch-up day here on the farm, and I don't mean the red stuff. We already made that. You probably saw that video. But we got lots of stuff to do. I didn't get done much done yesterday because uh, I went into town one of my breakfast days. So I go to my favorite restaurant, and I had to run in to the local town where the wife works and pick up uh, her vehicle because she had a tire that was kept going low on her so I fixed that for her and ended up messing around didn't get a lot done yesterday but we're gonna start early this morning we got another beautiful Nebraska sunrise it was a lot prettier than that earlier it was beautiful deep red this morning but we got a, a deer hanging out here in the barn I'm gonna check on uh, it's supposed to get up to like 70 today so we may get that out of there, um, <clears throat> trim some meat off of it and get it in the cooler. And then we got a lot of leaves out here on the yard. We've already did one round of uh, cleanup, but we'll probably bust the mower out again and get more of these leaves up. We had a pretty good wind the other day, so you can see our tree break, all the leaves are down. So... After this uh, cleanup today, we're not going to get many more leaves on the yard. We still need to put the other side of the roof on the chicken coop. So if the wind doesn't come up, we'll get started on that. We still have all of the meat processing equipment in the kitchen after being washed and dried. And it's been in there for like a day and a half. So I need to get all that out of there too and get it, that all put away back out here in the barn gonna be a full day so come along with me here's that deer we gotta get the meat off of today uh got shot like three times not my deer it's my cousin's kid deer big big muley deer had a humongous rack on it but uh, the first shot wasn't a good kill shot so he got shot like two more times so there's some destroyed meat on this thing but uh, we'll get off of here what we can today and get it into the cooler and we'll probably process it into like some snack sticks or something but uh, we got a bunch of spices out here we need to get back into the house so let's get those in there all right folks we got all our spices put back away yeah that's my spice cabinet pretty crazy huh but it all gets used now i need to take all this stuff back out to the barn you want to help brandy oh you don't have any thumbs darn it all right now we got to get all this stuff put away in those bins i keep it in those bins so they don't get dirty and i can just use them when i'm ready to go i got the, the grinder parts my butchering tools and stuff for my sausage stuffers the only thing that gets left out is the motor head and the sausage stuffers themselves but we wash the cans and stuff and wipe everything down before we use it. And then the meat slicer. I'm eventually wanting to build a cover for all this so it stays under cover. But that's another project.
All right, we got everything picked up and put away, so you've got a good chill on this morning. So we're going to start uh, pulling some meat off of this deer real quick. I want to show you this knife. Uh, my dad carried this knife for years and years and years on the dairy. And uh, he would use it to cut cow's tails for the most part. Uh, he'd be walking around and if you've ever milked cows or doctored cows, they get them big, crazy, long tails. Oh, looks like we got a little spot on there we got to clean off. Anyway, they get them big, crazy, long tails and they swatch you with them. So when the hair on the tail would get too long, he would just walk up behind the cow, pull his knife out and whack about half of that hair off of their tail with that knife. I've seen him do that a lot. But uh, this old knife brings back a lot of memories. All right, we got about all the meat we could salvage off of that carcass. Uh, we're going to take that out to a really rural area, and the uh, wild birds will pick that clean, give them something to eat, the hawks and the eagles and such. Uh, that's about all we could save out of the back strap. Uh, the rest of it was really bloody meat. But uh, any of this blood meat we're going to save, and I'll cook it down and make kind of a, a dog stew for Brandy that uh, she can eat on special occasions. But we got the, uh, the front shoulders here and the bellies, and then this is all the hind quarter meat. So we're gonna be about an hour trimming all this stuff up, making it into grind. Uh, this is the only uh, premium cuts that we're gonna save here. So we're gonna get at it. So we got a couple real nice loins of venison there. We've got all the silver skin trimmed off of it. Most people that don't care for venison never had good venison. Um, if it's not treated well, if it's not uh, processed and dressed out correctly in the field and in a timely fashion, it's gonna get that gamey flavor to you. If they leave hair all over it and all that, uh, when they skin it and don't get that stuff washed off really quick, the meat will get that kind of oily, hairy taste to it. It's really disgusting. But uh, if an animal is treated correctly and chilled down and it's been processed correctly, it's really good meat, and I think you would enjoy it. Now, most of your gaminess, too, if there's any, will be in the fat and in the sinew. So I... Trim all the fat off of this venison. I don't leave any on it. And uh, you'll you'll get rid of some of that flavor that possibly you don't like too. And then I mix back in good fat, like when we make sausages and stuff with it. I have some prime rib fat from my cousin's restaurant that will grind up about an 80-20 ratio. And uh, it puts that good fat back into it that's got a, a better flavor. We're continuing on. All right, we got... Pretty good amount of the really good meat in here. This is a two and a half gallon bag. So this will be the stuff we grind. We're going to get some more, but it's going to be slow trimming now. So I'm going to get this in the cooler. We've got the two tenderloins we're going to put in the cooler. And we'll be back.
All right, we got her done. It's all boned out. That's our waste bucket. But uh, I got all the meat inside in the fridge. We've got the old blood meat and all the, the nasty trimmings here. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to turn this into dog food. I don't want to waste this. <clears throat> the animal, uh, you know, it's had its life taken, and we don't want to waste that, and we want to make sure we use every bit that we can. So I got a big pot. We're going to put all this in, and we're going to cook it down a little bit and then uh, cool it down and we'll bag it up and then Brandy will have some good dog food for a while. Or you want to gnaw on them bones. She loves venison. So next thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna go inside and I haven't ate breakfast yet, so I'm gonna cook something up and then we gotta get out here. I'm gonna bust the lawnmower out and do the leaves like we said earlier. All right, finally sitting down to breakfast. Little eggs, hash browns, and some venison tenderloin. So we'll see how that big old muley buck tastes. Mmm. Pretty tasty. Not as good as white tail doe, but pretty good stuff. So uh, I know you've seen that there's a lot of wasted meat on that deer, but it was it was shot up pretty bad like I said it was shot three times and I think a couple of them were exit wounds too so uh, we couldn't save a lot of the front shoulder we got a lot of the, the hindquarters though which worked out good and all of the back strap tenderloins and all that so it worked out okay but uh, I'm going to try to get that boy over here and show him a few things about shooting and I know he's probably not a bad shot because he got a deer in the first place but I used to be a range master so I could probably make him a great shot to where we could avoid a lot of this damage and a lot of wasted meat. But Brandy's going to be eating good for a long time. She's got about four gallons of Brandy Burger uh, we're making out of that. And then I wanted to touch on something. There's a lot of people nowadays, you're hunting just for sport. You're hunting for antlers. And I'm not saying that's what my cousin's kid did because, you know, he's going to be eating this stuff. Um... But a lot of people just going out and see how big antlers they get and they don't even eat the deer and their family doesn't even like venison. And I think you need to stop doing that. That's ridiculous. Um, and a lot of people tell you, oh, I donate the meat. Well, anybody's ever seen these guys running around in their pickups for three days showing off this deer, that, that meat's not uh, uh, doing very well in the back of that truck. And by the time it gets somewhere to donate, it's really not worth eating. And a lot of times it probably gets thrown out. And then uh, a lot of people don't bone out the front shoulders and stuff like that. They'll peel the back straps off and throw the rest of the deer away. But uh, that's a lot of good, valuable meat on that deer. You need to eat it and stop hunting just for sport. I know it's the macho thing to do. You went hunting with your dad and all that. But our ancestors used to hunt back in the day to feed the family. Nowadays, if you're just going out and hunting for sport, not the same thing. So don't think it's something your ancestors did that you need to do. Take your kid on a camping trip. It'll have the same effect. You'll get quality time with your kid. I'm going to finish my breakfast, though, and get off my soapbox. All right, let's go get back after it. Looks like the garbage needs to go out, too. Brandy, you ready to go? Is that a yes? Yeah, I think so.
Little Brandy, Elvis was wrong. You did catch a rabbit. This dog, fastest dog I've ever had. Only dog I've ever had that could catch a rabbit. But now it's probably going to eat the rabbit. You going to eat the rabbit, Rand Brandy? Now she's looking for another rabbit. This darn dog has killed a possum, a whole bunch of rabbits, and a badger. Killed that badger without even getting a scratch. This is one tough dog. Crazy. I nicknamed her Killer. Well, that looks much better. And probably the last leaf pickup of the season. Uh, I was going to start putting some metal on the roof here. But I just remembered we need to clean some gutters. <laughs> started with a beautiful Nebraska sunrise now we got a beautiful Nebraska sunset crazy cool huh love it well we would have liked to have got more done today but there's other days and we got enough time I guess we got everything winterized, so that's not a big issue. I did figure out, though, we probably need to water the grass some more. I had winterized the sprinkler system thinking that winter was coming on, and we're back to 70-degree days. So I saw a couple areas of the grass that needed probably a little bit of water. And we got to get some fertilizer on, too. So that's something else. So we're going to call it a day. We got to go in and stir something up for dinner. Kelly's going to be home here in a little bit. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and we're going to go on inside. Let's go, Brandy. Should we go inside? Yeah? All right, let's go. I guess I got to clean up your mess. <laughs>